cute little guys. She too fell right out because somebody pulled it out during his last feed. I'm gonna pass it to mama. Oh, good job. Pass it over here. Oh, oh my goodness, good job, sweetie. Hi guys, welcome back to the House of Hughes. I am so excited to be filming a video today. I actually have my nanny here. She is playing with Blakely until Beckham gets home from school in just a few minutes. I actually just flew in and got back from Vegas yesterday, so it's been a very, very fun, hectic weekend, but I'm happy to be home and just kind of back in the swing of things. It was honestly my favorite girls trip I've ever been on. It was so fun and I can't wait to share all the details with you guys, but I also want to do some therapy with Beckham with you. Just have a fun day vlogging with the kids. However, before we dive into today's video, I am so excited to share our sponsor today. It is Timu. You guys know that I have partnered with them. Honestly, I think this is like my fifth or sixth time working with them. I am obsessed with Timu. It is the best place to shop for pretty much everything. It's like a one-stop shop for all of your favorite items and they are actually about to celebrate their one-year anniversary. So they are doing a surprise sale and I picked out some of my very favorite things and I'm so excited to show you guys. So what you're going to want to do is download the Timu app. That's going to make it so easy to shop the sale. They have things as low as one dollar as well as items up to 90% off. So you are definitely not going to want to miss this. They've also made this super easy so you can shop Shop all of your favorite influencers top picks and not get lost inside of the sale so I will have a link for you guys down below to shop everything that I picked out I think that little miss Chloe wanted to say hi say hello you guys already know that literally every single article of clothing that my kids own is basically Timu I am obsessed with their kids clothing it's like my favorite thing ever but I did branch out a little bit this time and I got a wider variety of items so I'm really excited to show you guys I think what shocks me the most about Timu is just how good their quality is the prices really are incredible and I'm not kidding when I say they are going to have thousands of items for a dollar are you kidding me that's insane I'm just gonna go through and do a little haul for you guys the first thing that I picked up is this little mini car vacuum I feel like this is something that everybody can use for those like hard spots to get in your car. So I'm really excited to have this on the go with me. Okay, I'm so excited about this. I used to have a rug in the kids' playroom downstairs, but unfortunately, Chloe had a little accident on it, so we ended up throwing it away because we couldn't get the stain out. So I got these soft little play mats so that the kids have a softer floor to play on since my entire downstairs is hardwood. So these are little play mats that go together. Most of you guys know that I live in Utah, and if you know that I live in Utah, then I'm sure you've heard of like the hype of Stanley mugs. Timu has the best best dupe for the best price. I am so excited about this water bottle. Look how pretty this is. Are you kidding me? I love the pink, the cream handle. It also fits in a car cup holder and it's 40 ounces. You really can't go wrong. You can never have too many water bottles. I had to get Blakely a cute little pair of sunglasses because she's obsessed. I got this cute little compact that holds things easy on the go, like scissors, tweezers, and nail file, nail clippers. This is perfect for traveling or to keep in your car. An extra spray bottle for the kids. I also like to use this for skincare. If I want to put my skincare on with a damp face, then I will just spray my face with this. Like I said, it really is a one-stop shop. The variety of what you can get on the Timu website is just unbeatable. Another little car accessory. This is a little mini trash can just to keep my car organized. All of my toddler moms know. Package number two. Although I got a lot of other items, I could never do a Timu haul without getting clothes for my kids. It really is my favorite place to shop for kids clothing. Look at this adorable little romper that I got for Blakely for Halloween. It's so cute. Flares at the bottom. It's also very soft and very thick. I love the quality of their clothes. I also got Blakely this cute little dress because she's obsessed with animals right now. The dress actually came in a pack of three, so it also came in this cute cow print. And this adorable little plaid for fall. The color block sweatshirt that says Sissy. Are you kidding me? She's going to look so cute in this. Of course, I also had to get Beckham some goodies. Look at this little outfit. I got him just a little khaki pair of shorts that are really soft. And then this adorable little collared t-shirt. I had to get a little something for myself. So I picked out these cute little slippers with a pink smiley face on them. And you guys, these are so soft. Okay, I'm kind of freaking out. Look at how cute these are. Are you kidding me? These are just like a cute little sneaker that I could wear with really anything. I am like shocked by the quality. I shouldn't be at this point because I've been addicted to this website forever. But these are so cute. So if you need a new pair of sneakers, get these. Had to get a cute little fleece sweat set for Blake since we are coming into the colder months. I got her this little pink one that says princess on it. This is one of the softest materials I've ever felt. It's literally just pure fleece, so soft and comfortable. 
and it came with a little matching bottom. Although summer is coming to an end, I did want to get these because they're reusable. So I got us a pack of the reusable water balloons because Blakely actually played with these at her cousin's and she is obsessed with them. They're just like little reusable water balloons that the kids can play with for the rest of the warmer months this year, but also use them again next year. That's it for some of the fun items that I picked out. But as you can see, there's such a wide variety. You really can't go wrong and you definitely want to take advantage of this sale that they have going on. Like I said, thousands of items that are literally a dollar. It's also up to 90% off site wide. You can shop all of your influence favorite items I will also have a link and a list for you guys down below of everything that I showed you today so you can shop directly be sure to download the Timu app so it makes everything super easy and I will also have a discount code for you guys that will be up here on the screen as well as linked in my description box down below thank you so much again to Timu for sponsoring today's video did someone have the best nap ever did school kind of wear you out baby should we play some pass and then go get some food for you. I think we should. Sure, pass. Yeah, you ready? Pass it back to mama. Pass it to mama. Good job. Okay, ready? Good baby. Look at that, you guys. Good Ooh. job, ready? Pass. Oh. Mm. Okay. Good job. Okay, what if I pass it all the way over there? Oh, oh my goodness, okay. where did it go? Where did it go? It's right behind you. Good job. Can you get it, baby? Pass it to mommy. You're gonna pass it to mama. Oh, good job. Pass it over here. Oh, oh my goodness. Good job, sweetie. Okay, ready? I'm gonna scoot back a little more. Oh, wow. Oh, it's all the way over there. Good job. He loves this game. It's like his favorite thing ever. Good. Yeah, ready? Amazing job. You're so precise. Good, baby. Can you pass it to mommy? A little bit further. A little bit further. Which one? Pass it to mama. Good. Excellent job, my love. Oh. Good job. Good, baby. Pass it to me. Ready? Okay, I'm gonna pass it all the way over here. You ready? Whoa. Oh, way to go. Ooh. Did you get it? Amazing. Ready? Oh my goodness. Good job. Oh. Whoa. You are the smartest little boy in the whole wide world. In the whole wide world. Good job, baby. Yeah, you ready to go eat? He's ready to go eat. Okay, my love, let's change your little diaper. Should we change your diaper and make it all clean before lunch? Are you excited to eat? I have to tell you guys the most insane story that happened today. This cute little guy's <gasps> sheet tube fell right out because somebody pulled it out during his last feed. This was obviously a very hectic moment, so I wasn't able to film any of it, but it actually wasn't even me feeding him. It was our nanny. The poor girl, this is like her second week working for us, and he pulled out his G-tube, no pressure. Oh my goodness, did Daddy put the other cool new toy on here? <gasps> Whoa! Okay, that's so cute, he's obsessed. I'm assuming that Daddy did that while Mommy was out of town. Let me make his meal really quick, and then while I feed him, I'll finish telling you guys that story. Does my baby want some chicken apple? I really am just determined to work with Gerber someday. Are you my little Gerber baby? I think you are. Back to this story. So it is very, very fortunate that I was actually working from home this morning. So I was here with my nanny, thank goodness. Can you even believe the odds? Because usually I'm not home when my nanny is here. So I was really happy that I happened to be home. So she was just like, Rach, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry to interrupt, but 
Beckham pulled his G-tube out. So of course, the first thing I do is call my sister-in-law because she's a nurse and she's the one who changes Beckham's G-tubes for us because she lives like two minutes away. She was at work, so I quickly call Hunter and I'm like, hey, how confident do you feel changing this G-tube? And he's like, yeah, I got it, I'll head home. While I was on the phone with my sister-in-law, she was like, Rach, I can totally walk you through it and I think you'll be able to do it. So by some miracle, I was actually able to change his G-tube, which has always just been a little bit more intimidating for me in terms of his care. I feel like I really mastered everything, but that is the one thing that I do just allow other people to help me with, which I think is okay, because I actually had my nanny's mom, who was a nurse and could change it 10 minutes away. One of my best friends who's a nurse who lives in my neighborhood, like one minute away. Kate, my sister-in-law, who was at work, so she was like 20 minutes away, but in the case of an emergency, she could have come and helped me. And then Hunter, who knows how to change it, and he was at work like 20 minutes away. And the hole really doesn't start closing until about 30 minutes. So I knew that we were gonna be okay regardless, but I have to admit that it actually gave me a lot of confidence that I changed it and did it myself because now I feel like I can do it moving forward. I went and offered Beckham his last bite and he said, no thank you, but maybe he's ready. Are you ready? Good job, Angel. So that was a hectic day to say the least, but it was actually a really great learning experience because now my nanny also knows how to change it. But let me tell you guys the craziest part. I literally get a call from my mom the other day because in a week, my mom is going to be watching Beckham for us. I'll get more into that a little bit later. But she calls me the other day and she's like, hey Rach, the only requirement that I have is before you go and leave me with Beckham, I want you to check his D-tube and make sure that it's all the way full so that it's very unlikely it will come out while you're gone because I had a dream that it needs to be changed, which we change it routinely through every three months anyway. And we were coming up on that, but she was like, I had a dream that it fell out while I was watching him. And my mom is literally going to be watching him in one week. So how crazy is that? I'm gonna have to tell her that she like manifested this. But now we know that his little balloon is full. There's a balloon on the inside of his tummy with his G2. And now we know that it is ready to go and he has a brand new G2 in his belly and mama changed it, which I'm really proud of myself. Because you guys have to remember, like I'm not a nurse. This stuff is really intimidating to me, but obviously I would do anything for my little guy. So I'm really glad I feel confident in it now, but kind of crazy, huh? I honestly should have had my nanny film it, but in the hecticness of it all, I just didn't even think about it. But we are all good to go. Update. Sissy woke up and just does, does your belly hurt? She said that her belly hurt. Does your belly still hurt, baby? No. No? It feels better? Does your belly feel better, baby? No. No? Does it hurt? No. No. We're just cuddling because she's kind of having a hard time, which is interesting because she just slept for three hours. But when she woke up, she was kind of fussy. And then when I went in there, she was telling me that her belly hurt. So we changed her clothes and we're probably gonna take a bath later together. It's a good take a bath. Yeah. yeah. She's so cute. It's so hard when she's not feeling well. But we're gonna soak up this time and have all the cuddles, huh? Yeah, do you wanna watch the TV and lay down with your water? No, no. No. Yeah, I can definitely tell something is off. Oh my goodness, did we find something that made Sissy feel all better? What do you have, baby? Yeah, glasses. Glasses? <laughs> Those are so cute. Can you put them on? Yeah. Yeah? Let me see them on. <gasps> cute! You look so pretty. Are you so pretty, Sissy? Yes. So pretty. Cute. I love your glasses, sissy. Good job. <laughs> Blakely, look how pretty you look. Oh, daddy's not home quite yet. Oh, shh. Can you do a spin? Wow, you're so beautiful. So beautiful though. So beautiful though. Okay, let's go. 
Look who's home. Oh my goodness, are you excited to see daddy? He's so excited, we're gonna go to the store. Okay, we just got out of Smith's and Blakely was so cute. She was literally like running around, kind of low-key screaming, but in the cutest way. Like she was super happy. She was just like really excited and I was dying. It was so cute. Beckham, my little angel back there, he was so sweet. Hunter and I have really mastered taking the kids out in public, which is like a big deal for us. Blakely, what did you pick out? Yeah. Yeah, what'd you get? <laughs> yeah, did you get a JJ apple juice right there? Let's see if we can see it. JJ apple juice and she got some snacks, huh? <laughs> That's what she calls fruit snacks and they're like little baby shark ones, so she's obsessed. Beckham, we told him that we'd buy him the entire store if he wanted to eat something by mouth, huh? Mama, I'm yeah. done. Not. You're all done? Okay, daddy will probably take over the leftovers. <laughs> <gasps> oh, they're all gone. Oh, is it too big? Sissy, did you put Blake, them all in your Blake, mouth? it's too big. Give some to daddy. Oh my word! That can't be real. Blake, okay, here's the deal with Blakely. We've been very fortunate that she's never had an issue with like choking or anything, but she does have this slight bad habit of putting a little bit too much in her mouth, and then she'll just say, too big, and spit it all out. So I'm like, at least she spits it out. She but... really does it. Like, yeah, it's candy. Well, right, it's like if we give her like a bag of anything, it's almost like we have to hand her things one by one <laughs> and monitor her eating because she's a little sassy All queen. All done. <laughs> See it. See it? <laughs> All right, Hunter had to stop and get Blakely and I our strawberry breezes from Swig. It's so freaking good. Blakely's also obsessed and gets the same order as mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, it's actually the next morning, so please excuse my morning voice. I am just headed to the gym. It's only 8 a.m., but honestly, it feels like 6 a.m. I had so much fun in Vegas. I just went with a really fun group of girls. It was actually my first time going on a trip with this specific group of girls, so I really feel like I was just getting to know everybody really well, and it's honestly one of my favorite trips I've ever been on. It was just so much fun, zero drama. Every personality just got along so so well and vibed. We ended up going to a day club, a night club, some beautiful dinners. It was just the most amazing, good vibes, incredible trip. So I am definitely on a high from that, but I am definitely sleepy and still recovering. We actually didn't drink too much. I feel like I definitely paced myself well and like I wasn't hungover at all. And I got really good sleep and it was just so relaxing and so nice. But for some reason, when you get back from a trip, you're just like, oh dang, but I did take a few days off from working out so I'm just kind of getting back in the swing of things but I'm gonna go ahead and close out today's vlog here I hope that you guys enjoyed it and of course I want to remind you to be brave like Beckham and I will catch you in our next video bye